Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a range comparison with the HK VP9B versus the Springfield Armory XDM Elite 4.5. Both polymer frame striker fire handguns, both are mine, I love them, and they've performed great throughout the years. The Springfield on the right has a 4.5 inch barrel, the HK has a 4 inch barrel, but not a great difference in the slide length. The grip length is a little bit longer with the Springfield. It has 20 round magazines. Let's start here with the Springfield. The XDM Elite, they've improved some things. One is a 20 round magazine, nine millimeter. They have wider serrations, both front and rear, loaded with features. And let's get into it. A flared magwell, comes with three additional back straps, a hump on the grip safety, forces a high grip on the pistol. It has a striped cocker fire indicator right there, a raised bar indicator, a U in the rear, and fiber optic front sights. They call that a U dot. Comes with a rail and a flat trigger that breaks right around five pounds with a reset that is very short. Ambidextrous controls, both magazine release and slide stop on both sides. Your average price here is 550 for this model. The MSRP is 609. So we will find that it is less expensive than the HK. But let's go ahead and take a few shots. I mentioned 20 round magazines and that is very good for a pistol. Any pistol, 20 round mags, no complaints there. We'll start on the down below. All right, this has performed great for me. Love what they did with the XDM models. That trigger is called a meta trigger, matched enhanced trigger assembly, matched enhanced trigger assembly. And it is a very fine trigger. The mag, the flared magwell is removable, but it is left-handed friendly and has been very nice for me. But now we've got the HK VP9. Now HK, they do a great job with ergos. It comes with additional back straps and grip panels so that you can custom fit your hand size. It came in the case like this, fits my average size hands very well. This is more expensive. You're looking at the mid 700s for this. Couple less features, but let's get into it. Comes with 17 round mags. They now make this optic ready. They, they make both of these optic ready now. Also has a rail and forward serrations. Ambidextrous slide stop, both sides, standard. And then the Mag Z release. This is a VP9B, so it has the push button release versus the trigger guard mag Z release that is ambidextrous. This has to be switched over to the other side. This also has a cock striker fire indicator. That's buried in there a little bit, kind of tough to see. It is red and a very nice trigger. A lot of people love the trigger on the HKs and for good reason, they, they break right around five pounds. It also has these cocking ears on the back of the slide. Three dot luminescent sights. So when charged by light, it will glow in the dark, if you will, for a, a pretty lengthy period of time, over an hour. And the VP9 has a great reputation. A lot of people love it. They say the VP9 is one of the best handguns they own. And therefore, I'm thinking that this comparison is pretty good. You know, the, the, the features on both these, I consider them both high end and the VP9, Definitely is. Let's start on the right again. Down below. All right. So you're looking at approximately a $200 difference. You're looking at about $750 for an HK VP9. And that's been my beef with them is that they are very expensive handguns. You're looking at about 550 here. Now HK does not give the MSRP, but right around 750 for the B model or 
the trigger guard release magazine release model so you're you're, you're looking at about a 200 dollars difference is it worth it that is the question now both these are premium nine millimeter handguns i i think they're both great both have five pound triggers they they compare actually pretty well in size although this is larger they also make a four inch barrel model match grade barrel polygonal rifle barrel both high-end high-end handguns both i think look super cool and both are compact a little more full size with the xdm elite especially with that 4.5 inch barrel ambidextrous ambidextrous for the most part i will tell you that this is feature loaded the xdm elite 4.5 it is feature loaded it's also available optic ready these days and i would go with this if i had to choose just one i just think that the additional features the the shooting impressions the way it shoots the the trigger and everything just draws me toward this gun that is not to say this isn't a great gun as well. It's $200 more with fewer features, but you're getting an HK, which is certainly worthy. Definitely earned its spot in the gun world. Both break down really easy. Both have uh, great internals, no complaints there. But if I had to choose one between the XDM Elite versus the HK, I'd save the additional 200 bucks get a little more ammo that's always a good thing the question here is which one would you choose if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe